Hey everybody, welcome. My name is Jason Bent and I am a Harvey owner. And in this video, I'm gonna be walking you through some of the setup, installation, and kind of what you can expect on delivery when you're ordering a new Harvey bandsaw. One of my favorite things about Harvey tools is the way in which they ship things to you and the way that they arrive. They make it very easy to unbox. They make setup and installation very easy. And they also make it extremely easy to get the stuff off of the pallet. When it arrives, this is what it's gonna look like. And it's just on a pallet and it's enclosed in a cardboard enclosure, which is really easy to break down as you see me doing in the video here. Once you've removed that cardboard enclosure, you're actually gonna find the tool pretty much assembled inside and it's gonna be wrapped in this plastic wrap. And as you're cutting this plastic wrap off, just be sure that you do not cut too deep because you don't wanna damage the machine itself as you're taking everything off. Another thing to note is that everything you need for the assembly is either going to be housed inside of the tool or inside of this wrap. So as you're unwrapping it, make sure that you're grabbing each one of those things because they will all be important during the assembly process. Once we have everything unwrapped and everything set aside for the assembly, you're gonna notice that there's a couple of bolts holding it to the small pallet that it sits on. And to take this off, it's actually really easy and they make it very simple for you to do with just one person. As you can see in this video, I was able to do it by myself. So to take it off, I started on the heavy side of the pallet, and that is so I have a little bit more control over the tool as I'm sliding it off of the pallet. Once I get it off the pallet, I'm actually on the ground, so I can just simply lean the bandsaw back and kick the pallet out from underneath it, and then I'm able to put it flat on the ground. Another thing to think about and consider is when this thing gets delivered, if they're willing to put it in your shop, I would have them place it in a relatively close location to where you actually plan on having the bandsaw. And this is just to alleviate the need to move it around a lot. I suggest getting it as close to where you want the final tool. And with that being said, once I got it off the pallet, I went ahead and slid it over to the area that is close to where I wanted its final resting place to be. And once I got it in that location, it was time to go ahead and first install the leveling feet. And at, at this point, I'm really not concerned about having everything be perfect. I'm just trying to get the feet on there just while I have the ability to freely access both the front and the back. And to put these on, I follow a very similar step. I'm basically just leaning the machine back and using a scrap piece of wood to place underneath it to hold the weight and give me enough clearance to put each one of the feet in. So I start on the front and then I move to the back and do the exact same thing. And then once the legs were on, then I went ahead and placed it pretty much where I want it to be. The next part that I installed was the bandsaw table. And this is the heaviest piece that you're gonna manipulate during the assembly. It's fairly easy to do, but I do highly recommend that you take a close look at the instructions because there are very specific guidelines on installing the bandsaw table, simply because everything has to line up just right. The other thing to keep in mind is that there are some tight spaces and tight areas that you actually have to tighten down certain bolts. So just make sure that you take the time. Harvey provides all the tools that you need to install this piece. But once you get it installed, you can crank the wheel to make sure that the table and everything is working the way that it should. After installing the table, I went ahead and installed this lift assist piston that comes with it. And this is very, very simple to do. The only thing to be aware of is that there is a retaining pin that goes in the bottom of this piston. And it does help to have a set of needle nose pliers or something like that to actually put the clip in the retaining pin. Next, I moved on to the fence and the fence is done in three different parts. The first part is I actually placed the locking bar that goes on the rail. From there, I was able to attach the fence, which simply slides on the locking bar and it makes it really, really easy to put on Everything is toolless. It's super simple to put together. And finally, the third part of it is this guide bushing that sits in the end of the fence. And that's really to help keep everything in line and also help the fence from twisting as you're moving it back and forth. As I previously stated, all of the tools that you need for any kind of maintenance or setup on this machine actually come with it. And this is actually a really cool feature that I love about this bandsaw is that on the back side, you can mount this little tool holder that comes with it for you to you know, easily store all of the Allen wrenches and everything that come with it, which is actually a huge benefit for me because my previous bandsaw did not have that. 
The next thing to do is to install the blade. And there are a couple of things that you have to remove to install the blade, but it's just like any other blade change on a bandsaw. And there are some great resources out there if you want some help on how to install a bandsaw blade. But it was very easy, straightforward. And after I got everything installed, I went ahead and made sure that I had everything in alignment and everything is tracking the way that it should be. After that, I took a few minutes to set up all of my bearings. And this is another great thing about this bandsaw is that changing the bearings and adjusting the bearings are completely toolless. So you do not need any tools to adjust. You can do everything with your fingers. It's really, really nice and super convenient. And finally, this machine does come with two ports for dust collection. One is directly underneath the table and the other one is down at the bottom of the machine. Now, I currently am only going to be using the one under the table because I have to make some modifications to my ductwork to support both ports. So in the event that you only are able to use one or only want to use one, it does come with this small cap that you can place over either one depending on which one you want to use. And that just helps divert some of that airflow to the one that you're actually using. And just like that, the assembly is done. The only thing left to do is to actually make some test cuts. The actual assembly is really, really easy, straightforward. I think this took me about an hour and a half to two hours, and that was with filming everything. The instructions are very easy to follow. All the tools that you need come with it. And Harvey actually does the majority of the work for you, making the assembly process quite easy. So if you guys are in the market for a new bandsaw and you want some greater capacity, definitely take a look at everything that Harvey has to offer. And you can find information about this bandsaw or any other bandsaws or other tools they have to offer on their website. So hope you guys enjoy your Harvey tool and thank you for watching.